Hello and welcome back. My name is Annemarie Kiefer. In this unit I will tell you about the call step atom that is available to combine scenario steps with each other. In this unit we are going to define the search key for the message monitor to better find the event, set the first step to use single transaction, Use the call step atom to call another step in the scenario. So let's look at the overall design for step 2. This step is triggered by the previous step using the call step atom. The second step is run in synchronous mode, meaning that the first step waits for it to complete. When defining a call step in synchronous mode, we can define any inbound and outbound, although the integration framework ignores the definition later. But the model requires that you define at least inbound. The processing will use a B1 message atom to send a pop-up message to the user in OEC1. To use the advanced monitoring options, we define a search key for the first scenario step. The message produced in the final transformation is handed over to the search key. This is the message returned by the DI API and the key of the document. If the call to SAP Business One fails, the message includes the error. We are using the single transaction option. SAP Business One single transaction affects SAP Business One inbound, outbound and all SAP Business One atoms dealing with the DI API. Usually the integration framework step processing is one transaction. Changes in SAP Business One are rolled back after an error to keep a consistent state. When using single transactions, provide suitable compensation to undo the changes to again have a consistent data in SAP Business One, as the single transaction processes each atom directly. Why do we need this here? We need the outbound message of the B1 object for the call step atom. The call step atom sends the internal B1 message to the user. We do not need a, compens a compensation to, to undo the change because we do not manipulate any other data. And we will do the same for the second scenario step, set it to single transaction. The call step atom allows you to combine steps within a scenario package. This gives you the ability to divide a large process into smaller steps and optionally run parallel steps. When you use the call step atom, you can select a mode for running the call step. Synchronous, as you can see in the diagram, only the processing phase of the call step is used and processing returns to the call atom. The inbound and outbound phases of the call step are not used. The message is handed over directly to the call step. The calling step waits for the call step to complete. This is an include of a step into another step. Asynchronous. This uses all the phases of the call step, inbound, processing and outbound. And the call step runs in parallel. The called step picks up the message from an internal queue. The inbound channel of the called step is defined as internal queue. Note that there is also a put to internal queue atom available that does the same thing as the asynchronous mode. The call step atom does not come with a predecessor transformation atom, but we have added one, that is the atom 5. This allows you to create a payload for a call step that runs in synchronous mode. 
instead of the full XML message, the call step will retrieve this payload from the body section of the message. In this use case scenario, we will use a transformation atom to create a payload. The payload will contain the root tag element B1 result with two sub-elements. The result of the B1 object call extracted from the B1 object atom and the name of the B1 user extracted from the initial transformation atom. To configure the call step atom in step processing, select the mode, synchronous in our case. In the selection window, enter the name of the call step. So this is going to be our second scenario step. We call it B to B B1 message. Define an atom that provides the payload to hand over content to the call step and define the name of a predecessor transformation atom. The integration framework hands over the result of the atom as the payload. Alternatively, you can also only define a subtree of the result or you can use an XPath expression. However, note that the XML must be well formed. It must have a single root tag. So now let's come to our demo. We go back into the integration framework. To the package design. And the first thing we are going to do is we are going to define our search key. For this we are selecting message log and click the search keys button and for our already existing scenario step we enter dollar $r slash star that is the annotation that lets, lets the search key pick up all content of the receiver message. Now let's go back to step design. Here we have the SAP Business One DI single transaction. You simply can deselect or select it. If you are going to select it, then you get the notification that each DI call runs in a separate transaction. We say OK. We are aware of that. And then we go to processing and configure our call step atom. We select the mode as a synchronous call and for the scenario step to call, I mentioned that already, call it B to B, B1, MSG. And the input for this atom comes from the transformation atom 5. So the last thing we have to do in this demo is to add our transformation to this predecessor transformation atom. So this is our atom 5. Don't want to close it. 
Okay, that didn't work. Sorry for that. Let's go back here. I have to close, open the document again. Copy the content. Paste it here. Click Pretty Print. Save. So you can see here we have the B1 result root tag and within this we have the result that is going to give us the DI result and the B1 user picked up from the first atom that we defined under values B1 user. Let's save it. And go back to our presentation. So, in this unit, you saw how to define search keys for the message monitoring, use the single transaction option, use the call step atom, and create a payload for the call step. Design a synchronously call step and access the payload. In the next unit, we will show you the definition and creation of the second step. See you then.